Yes, it's time for another Travels with Bert. I seem to be making a habit of starting videos in places that I'm not actually visiting. Although this time, the place we're going to, you can probably see behind me, it's real close. If we take a quick look from upstairs, you will see that there's a giant temple complex behind me. It's called Wat Tat Noi. And I'm in a place called Chandi, which is about uh, 150 kilometers from home kind of uh, southwest, but still in Nakhon Si Tamarat province. And you can see in the upstairs view that the temple complex is very large. We have a number of uh, buildings that we need to visit. And if you look down the bottom, you can see that I'm actually sitting on a train station. Well, you can't see me, but you can see the train station. I'm in that bottom corner there. So we can get to our destination pretty quickly because I just need to wander across the road there and find the entrance down there. And away we go. It's kind of busy this morning. It's about a few hundred school children here, so it might get a bit noisy over there. First though, a little background information. Nothing online wants to tell me how old the place is, but the, it's actually famous for a monk who was ordained there in 2438 BE, which is Buddhist era. Now this year is 2567, which means that he was ordained something like 119, 120 years ago. So that gives us an idea of, of how old the place is. It obviously has to be older than that. P.T. Cly features quite prominently over there. There's a giant statue of him. Not sure we can see it from here. Uh, where is he? No, uh, he's there somewhere. We'll find him. And there's also his remains in a, in a glass case, which we won't see because I'm really not crazy about looking at dead bodies. But he was known as Golden Mouth because he was very famous for making predictions which came true. But then he got very upset because he made a lot of bad predictions or predictions of bad things that were going to happen and they came true as well. So he decided that he wasn't going to speak anymore and he just sort of hid himself away and never said a word to anyone. But that didn't stop people coming and asking him for predictions. So they'd come and talk to him and they'd just wait for some sign that maybe he would nod like this so in agreement or like this or maybe he would shake a finger but he wouldn't speak. So when we get over there, because it's a religious building and as I say, it's very busy, there's a lot of school kids, you'll be pleased to hear that I probably won't do much talking. I'll just go around and make some video and add some uh, appropriate music so you can see the whole place. But trust me, there's a lot to see, so don't go away. We have a lot of buildings to go visit.
Ha! I bet that woke you up. Just wanted you to see that there really are trains bringing more tourists to the temple. Well, at least four of them. Well, that seems like an appropriate time to say it's goodbye to the train to Chandi and it's goodbye from Bert, who's hiding over there somewhere. And goodbye from the temple and it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.